Welcome to Blue Marble Geographics, Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and this is Billy Noble, a product specialist here at the company. Billy will be showing us a workflow on how to measure the volume difference between surfaces. All right, Billy, take it away. All right, sounds good, Rachel. Uh, so here in my workspace, um, I'll be analyzing the difference between the volumes of the two different uh, surfaces. Um, so this area that I'm showing um, is the raster. And in my control center, you can see I have two elevation layers, um, as well as a vector layer um, that has the area feature outlining the area um, that was removed um, during a process of um, uh, earth removal. Um, so I can use the image swipe tool um, to actually show the underlying surface, which is the original surface. Um, so click OK and then make sure I have the um, original um, or the after removal um, layer checked. So if I swipe away, you can see the original layer um, that um, was there before. So um, a lot of earthwork that was uh, removed from this surface. Um, so to go ahead and start um, actually doing the workflow, um, I want to select this area that I'm interested in. Um, so before I use the analysis tool, I will go to the digitizer and select the area feature. And then going back to that same menu, I'll go to analysis. And halfway down is measure volume between surfaces. Um, so since I only have one here, uh, I'm going to click no to multiple area features. And then in this dialog, um, on the first um, option here, you want to select the original layer. And on the second, um, you want to select after removal. Uh, if you can re read that in the, in the menu. And to make sure, I want to prop to selected area features and click OK. So you get this report um, that shows the total volume between surfaces and as well as other measurement um, attributes. And there's another way to go about this as well. Um, and this is using the combine and compare terrain layers. So from the analysis toolbar, click OK. And then make sure the operation for this in this menu is subtraction. And you set up the same exact way as the other dialog, uh, making sure you have the two different surfaces picked in both of the options. And as well, crop to the selected area feature and click OK. And now you get um, a kind of a new terrain grid that generates in, generates in the control center. And then you can analyze this as well um, by selecting the area feature again and doing analysis measurement and going to the pile volume. So that was a right-click digitizer menu operation. You have a slightly different uh, outcome here, but uh, it's because there's a little interpolation on the sides of the data. but. Um, you should get similar results as well. And that is how you do that, Rachel. Billy, thank you so much for showing us that workflow. Is there an industry that this process would be best suited for? Or is it applicable across multiple industries? I think right off the bat, um, this workflow would be very suited for people in the mining industry. Um, any, any users out there who are I'm um, doing a lot of earthworking and have to get exact measurements of how much area they're moving. Um, it's certainly a useful tool um, in that field. Um, but I can see this application used in many other industries as well. For more information about Global Mapper, please visit the Bloom Rebel website today. And thank you again for joining us for Ask the Experts. And be sure to stay tuned for our next episode.